Hey y'all, Brooke the Broker here. So this video is about what to expect in the upcoming market in the early summer 2022 for sellers. As you know, interest rates have gone up quite a bit since the beginning of the year and the feds just announced last week that they are raising the prime rate by five points. So 0.5% and I predicted this a while ago but I just wanted to put a video together so you can understand how all of this has an impact on you as a seller. So stay tuned. So as a seller, over the past couple years, you've experienced an amazing, amazing seller's market. Unfortunately, that has become the new norm and it was absolutely not the norm. So I want you to understand that it normally takes about two months to sell a house. When you have a house on the market, you normally do not have multiple, multiple, multiple offers. When you have your home on the market, you normally have to have it looking fabulous and looking beautiful and having the lights on and making sure it smells good and playing soft music. And this is the market we are getting ready to experience in the latter half of 2022. So from a seller perspective, the sooner you can offer your home for sale, the better. You will have more buyers competing from your home now compared to later in the year. But what's happening right now is instead of a game of musical chairs where there's only two chairs, two houses, and there's 50 people running around and circling around those two houses, now we have three houses on the market and there might just be 10 buyers circling around. So what that means is of those three, one of them is gonna get multiple offers, two of them might get a couple offers, all three might get a couple offers, but what we're not gonna see is 13, 14, 15, 10 offers on a home. That was not normal, but that's what we had been experiencing. So please understand that you will see fewer offers on your home, and some of you may even just get one offer and that's okay but we need to get back to the normal mindset of negotiation we really as sellers have not had much negotiation going on in the last two and a half years so now is the time that sellers are going to start to need to negotiate with a buyer to create a winning platform for everybody and that's why you need a good negotiator on your side the other thing that's going to have an impact on sellers is how your home is presented. Now, I'm not talking about marketing. I'm talking about your job, which is creating a beautiful home, a beautiful environment, a beautiful product for sale. So when a buyer comes into your home, they fall in love. And when they go to another home, they're still in love with yours. So staging is extremely important. Decluttering is extremely important. Making sure your house smells good is extremely important. Making sure all of that deferred maintenance is taken care of is very, very, very important. So as a seller, you can't just throw your house on the market these days and expect it to sell. It's gotta look good, it's gotta smell good, it's gotta be obvious that you've taken excellent care of the property. So if you're thinking about selling in the latter half of this year, but you know you need to get a new roof, and you need to get a new air conditioner, and you need to replace some appliances, and you need to fix that project that you started four years ago and you never really finished, we have help for you. If you are needing help to finish those projects before your house goes on the market, reach out. We have a program called Pineapple Projects. You can read about it on my website. I'll have a link below. And we have contractors that can do all of this work on your home to get it ready for sale. And they don't take any payment until the closing. So there's opportunities for you there as well. So getting your house in tip-top condition 
and it must look beautiful is becoming more and more uh, important every single day. The last thing for sellers is you need to have reasonable expectations of what the showing activity is going to be and what the ultimate timeline is going to be. And I pride myself on the research that I do for hours before even sitting down with a seller. And one of the things I look at is the actual pace of the market for that particular home. One thing I can discover is for how, uh, for every three showings, there is an offer that is written. The question is how many show, how long does it take to get to the three showings? So that's another bit of information that I can give to you. So we have extremely reasonable expectations. For some agents who don't sell a lot of houses, they might have only experienced selling one, two, three, or seven in the last year, and every single one of them sold in a matter of hours. So when it's taking a little bit longer for a home to sell, or even for a home to have a showing, those agents tend to panic. But when I look at the research, I look at every single home individually, and so we can sit down and say, you know what? It's gonna take about 13 days for your house to sell. Not two, <laughs> 13. So we have reasonable expectations and we set the timeline accordingly. So making sure you have an agent in your corner that absolutely understands the flow of the market as it pertains to your home to help you set reasonable expectations with the timeline is very, very, very important right now. I'm Brooke Miller. I've been practicing real estate here in Fredericksburg for nearly 20 years. And one of the biggest things I bring to the table, especially for my seller clients, is all of the research that I do on a weekly basis of the market, the market in general. I know exactly where we stand when it comes to uh, supply and demand, days on market, are there foreclosures out there? Are there short sales out there? All of those things, I pay attention to that. And then for you in your specific home and the price point and the neighborhood, I also do specific research on every single home, every single week, and I take hours prior to our first appointment doing all of this research. So when we sit down, I go over what the reasonable expectation would be, what the market is saying about your home, where the market is headed, and I have all that information. It's almost like I have a crystal ball. So that is what I bring to the table, and that is what you're probably gonna be needing coming into the second half of 2022, because there's so many unknowns, and you're gonna be hearing all this information from all these different resources that it's a, it's a disaster out there. But you know what? This is nothing I haven't seen before. So bring me onto your side. I would love to sit down and share what's going on with your home right now. And if you'd like more information, click one of the links below and I will be in touch soon. Have a great week.